Welcome back, Freedom Walkers. Today, we're going to go through tips 6 through 10 out of 42 tips for self-growth. Let's get right into it. Number six, cultivate resilience. We live in a world that can be very cruel and mean at times. It's so important that we develop the ability to bounce back from setbacks and learn from challenges. This is going to be built more in our inner world through our thinking and perception of events. It's so important that we learn how to take hard times and scenarios, reframe them in our mind, and gain positive insight from the situation. Hard times are not meant to destroy you, but uplift you. We can only grow as high as the challenges that we face. Why? Because we have to rise up to overcome those challenges. Once you overcome that challenge, you're at a higher level. But it takes resilience to do it. Tell yourself, I'm going to learn and rise higher from this incident, not be destroyed by it. Number seven, meditate and practice mindfulness. Your power lies within. God placed it there. When you practice meditation and mindfulness, you place yourself in a stillness and calmness that will allow you to get to know yourself. Now, taking note of your thoughts and emotions, gaining an understanding of why you're thinking and feeling the way you are, all of this will empower you and give you the tools you need to live a more freeing, meaningful, and impactful life. So incorporate meditation and mindfulness practices to improve focus, reduce stress, and enhance self-awareness. Number eight. Exercise regularly. Your body is designed to move and not be stagnant. You don't have to spend hours in the gym with your exercise neither. You could go for walks, hikes, take time to stretch and do mobility work. Maybe you like martial arts or doing yard work like gardening. It is so important that we keep our bodies moving and strong. Doing so will keep you full of energy, young, and yes, it will help you enjoy your life of freedom so much more. Engage in physical activities to maintain a healthy body and mind. Number nine, prioritize self-care. If you don't take care of your body and mind, nobody else will until it's too late for you to do it. This is serious, and if you don't think it is, think about all the things that you do that will not get done if you're sick or mentally drained. So much about your life depends on you. You want to make sure as much as you can that you are ready to take on daily tasks and challenges with efficiency. Set aside time for relaxation, hobbies, and activities that rejuvenate your mind, body, and soul. Number 10, seek constructive feedback. Sometimes we think we do everything right or we'll do something and think it can't get any better. Constructive criticism helps us to become better at whatever it is we're trying to master. If you want to master it, you must get honest feedback about what you're doing. Seek out wise counsel and insight from those you respect. Maybe they're doing something similar to you, but at a higher level. You need to seek those individuals out. Always be open to feedback and use it to grow and improve in various aspects of your life. Remember to keep your eyes on the community tab on this channel. I'll be uploading posts throughout the week, and I want to engage with you and learn more about you and what you're pursuing. That way, we can all grow higher together. I'll also place a link to my first two books on self-improvement in the descriptions below. You can order the ebook or physical copy. May you walk in freedom. I'll see you soon.